Squad. Squad. Yeah, okay. squad. Yeah. yeah. That squad up. When, when you took when the mixtape game took off, yeah. how did that change the rap game? The, um. So the mix, I don't know how the web mixtape started. I know what I did. Uh, I had made a choice at at about 18, 19 years old. So I think I was around that age. I think six. And I I was way younger than that. I'm at yeah, because I was in Miami by 19. Bro, Mac ain't on the show, Wayne. I'm sorry. Like, Goddamn, Wayne. So this Mac a, ain't on the show. A, Wait, a, if, was, hey Mac, Mac, come on the show. <laughs> Get your over here. Goddamn. Right, this is when I was about 17, 17, 16, 17. I made a choice that I'm not about to start writing. You know what I mean? Like I about to start writing my. Shit. I had too many. That that's when that started really happening. That what I told you I deal with that. Tapes. The words just keep popping up in my damn head, and I told you like that keep. That's when that really start happening, becoming a headache, a real problem. So that's when I said I'm not about to write no more. And so I was like, what am I? What am I gonna do with that I wrote already? We came in. My homie came up with an idea. He was a DJ. His parents taught piano lessons downstairs, but in the basement he had a studio, <laughs> and they would let us go record up there. Shout out Raj Smooth. And we did this thing called 10,000 Bars where you, I'm, I just rapped every, since he's a DJ, he, we didn't have to stop. We didn't have to stop him. He was, he will just show me the, you know, you know, you know how the studio set up, got the glass. He had, right. he just, he still had this DJ set up even with the studio shit. Right. And he will just show me the next, he will put the vinyl up like this was coming next. And I look at him and I ran everything I had written. It was just, you could hit a, you could hit a page just flipping. I left all that on the floor. I don't know what he did with that. <laughs> that, all that, right, that was the last day I ever wrote, and it was called 10,000 Bars. We put it out for free. And what I mean for free, that was the days where we literally burned a bunch of CDs and passed them out at, at clubs, at the end, at, and, you know what I mean, at clubs. And here, at the same time, I was still on television. I was still a hot boy. So it was, it was different from some just saying I'm a new rapper, take my new mixtape, or take my new, my, my new music. It was like, oh, some new music from Lil Wayne. Okay, I fuck with it. What this is, and that's when it was like shit. He rap way different because it was all the all the music from that was the the vocals, the verses that I was scared to rap for Stunner for Baby because they hated New York. <laughs> like they, you couldn't do too much too much rhyming. For them. Like they, they they wasn't into that. Shit. And so that was all that. Shit. That was that was the beginning of when you evolved as an artist. Yeah, it's because when Stunno he he basically like put his hands on when he saw that the sit how the how the how the streets how the world attracted to it. It was like yeah, he got like, he spitting his ass off. You know what I mean? He on some toys, so Stunno was all good. Do your do your, whatever you want to do. Not wearing put your Tim's on. Do, do the bird. He on you couldn't wear jerseys. Nothing. Couldn't do 